So we're gonna be showing you guys how to take your platform, put it on top of your car, so that way we have a little area to put your 3D printed car body on top. And eventually it's gonna look like this, but it will be glued together. So the first thing that's gonna happen is this is only applying to the people that bring in their cars and they want to have a car that belongs to them. If you're gonna be borrowing one of my platforms and car chassis body or little platforms, then this doesn't apply to you. But when you first bring your project or your little car in, you're gonna have something that looks just like this, a Matchbox car or a Hot Wheels car. What I'll do with you and you need me to help you out, I'll give you some assistance. We'll flip it over and there's two rivets on the bottom, one on the front, one on the back. What I will do is I'm gonna take a drill, remove both of those rivets and pop it off so that way we're left with this little car chassis here. This little car chassis most of them will be able to use as long as they have like a flat bottom. If it has some kind of weird like design to it, unfortunately we won't be able to use it. So the platform itself, I 3D printed it out for you and you can keep this part. And the way we're going to be attaching this is just with a little bit of hot glue. So make sure hot glue is plugged in and ready to go. You'll take a hot glue gun, put a decent amount down here in this area here. Number one thing you want to be careful of, you never want to get hot glue on any of your wheels or your axles. That'll ruin your car and it won't be able to move. So take some hot glue, squirt a decent amount on the bottom here. Enough that it coats everything. Don't go too crazy with it. And after you have a decent amount, you're going to take the car platform, put it right inside the small little square area, just like so. And make sure when you place it, you do a visual inspection that like your wheels can move freely and spin without getting hung up and just hold it there for a few seconds so it can dry. After a few seconds and it's fully cured, this thing's ready to roll. And the last thing we have to do is take some tape, put our car body on top using a tape donut, and this thing's ready to rock. The very last thing I'm gonna need you to do is take your um, all of your pieces and parts. If you wanna keep this part, sure, keep it. Um, just make sure you take it with you. I don't want it. If you do not want like your body and all these parts and pieces that are left over from the original Hot Wheels car, throw in the trash can, okay? But let's say you have all of your pieces, you want to keep them, including your little platform here. Well, you will need this a little bit later when we test. The number one thing I need you to do before you move on any further is I need you to make sure that you take a small little plastic Ziploc baggie, put your name on it, that way we know who it belongs to, for me, I'm going to put Mr. N, as well as your period. So maybe you might be period two or period three, or I'm sorry, two or period eight. And then put all of your parts and pieces inside. Also, it's very important and crucial that you put your project pieces in the bag and then finally put your bag in your storage locker location. If you're not sure what your location is, make sure you let me know and I will be more than happy to tell you.